Hey YouTube, I'm back once again um, and as I teased last night uh, I'm going to go through my entire HD DVD collection um, and after yesterday's disaster um, I didn't get cleared up until I was, I was after 8 o'clock um, so I never got a chance to film, I was hoping uh, to record this and hopefully at least one or two more yesterday um, but yeah, it never happened. Uh, it was too late. Once I finished, um, yeah, it took a long time. So anyway, we're going to go through the A's, B's, and C's. Oh, and the numbers. The numbers, the A's, B's, and C's. This morning, um, I've worked out it'll probably take about six videos. I'm not going to do a full A to Z. Um, although some of the some of the letters there are quite a lot. There's others that are only a few, so it's not worth it. So I'm going to. Break this down into six videos. Um, yeah, so let's let's get straight into this. Uh, so we we'll start off with the numbers. Uh, so we've got Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, this is the UK release. Uh, now, fair warning: in this uh, collection, there are a lot of uh, multiple copies. Of films because I collect from various regions uh, mostly UK US and Australia um, but I do have quite a few uh, European releases of films for the most part that didn't get releases in those English speaking countries uh, and a few of those titles are not in English so where they're not in English I've fitted them in alphabetically at least where there would be if they had the English title um, but there are one or two multiples from Germany and, and Holland I think um, that I don't really need but I've got you know just for the collection anyway that said we've got a US edition of Too Fast Too Furious uh, and this is the first of I think the German ones um, with a foreign title, but this is Three Days of the Condor. Uh, still new. Oh, I'm losing them, they're slipping away. Uh, Twelve Monkeys. This is actually here, even though it's it's the word 12 starting with a T. On the spine there, it's actually the number 12, so I've put it in the numbers. Uh, and we've got... UK release of 16 blocks and also the US uh, combo edition of 16 blocks uh, the 40 year old virgin the UK release the 40 year old virgin the US release with the slip cover which is a neat little slip cover because it has a little door on the front which you pop open and I just thought that's quite good. I like that. Um, it's quite hard to find this actually with the slip cover though. Um, and again, the 40 year old virgin has been the Australian release. Okay, a bit of a theme here uh, 300. This has been the UK release. Um, the green sticker, and you'll probably see this as we go along on a few of these. Um, basically, those that I've tested, I only started this about two years ago, but those that I've watched or tested and have worked, it's only Warner Brothers titles, um, but the ones that work, um, I put a green sticker on just so I know for the future that it's a, it's a good copy. Yep, so 300. The US Combo Edition. And the Australian edition. Uh, it's been a Dutch release, I believe. Uh, 1408, the director's cut. Um, I think one of the first ones, maybe not the first one, was Three Days of the Condo was uh, exclusive, but that's exclusive, I believe, to Holland. Um, yes, it never had a UK, US, or Australian release. Um, 2001. Uh, Space Odyssey, the UK release, uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, 
the German release and I really only got this and the other Kubrick movies because of the alternate artwork. Um, as far as European, you know, German, French, Spanish and of the like, um, if they've had a UK, US or Australian release, I tend not to buy them. But like I said, there are a few um, that I have um, just for collection purposes. And in this case, these the five Kubrick movies have got alternate artwork and I really do actually like them. And, and one missing. And then we've got 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, the US release. Uh, 2008 High Definition Audio Demonstration Disc. This is just like a, a sampler of various uh, um, movie clips and uh, music um, videos, I guess. Uh, it's been, I think, the only HD DVD revived um, release that I own. Um, this has been a boy and his dog, although I do also have their sampler disc, um, which just came in a plain uh, cover. Um, so I just popped that one in here. Um, but uh, had you not seen anything of theirs and just this sampler disc, this is a really poor example of uh, maybe it's not a poor example but what's on this disc does not highlight high definition at all um the quality on this isn't awesome but it's it's okay i would actually love to see the blu-ray just to to compare and contrast to see how different it is the hd dvd revived only do public domain titles um or uh titles that are independent that um they've been uh, used as a distributor I guess to to do and, and there's only one title that I know of that they do that with and for the life of me I can't remember it only came out last year um, which I haven't picked up yet I just want to actually want to get to see to see how good a, uh, a picture quality it is it's a I think it's a British movie which like I say only came out last year um, and I should have really looked up before I started this it never even dawned on me until I picked this up that it was available um, but yeah I really do like this film um, so for it to have been uh, released on HD DVD, not released, I suppose it's 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 just a company that um, put public domain title on the HD DVD. Um, I'm pretty sure the quality from what I've seen off that uh, sample disc, a lot of them probably aren't going to be that good. But they do have a fair range of titles, most of which I've never heard of. I think the the most um, famous, if you like, movie that they they do is. Um, George Romero's uh, Night of the Living Dead, which they also do a 3D version of in that same pack, uh, which is another one I'm going to get a hold of just to see what the quality is like. Uh, a Christmas Story, absolutely awesome Christmas movie, which I only discovered a few years ago when I got the HD DVD. It's a film that I'd heard of, but I'd never seen um, for a long, 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 long time. Uh, a Clockwork Orange, I only have the UK releases at the moment. I do want to get the German one to complete that collection. Although technically I do have it in the uh, in the box set. Uh, Guitarscape Planet with Mario Muriel Anderson. Uh, A Mighty Heart, the UK release, and the Australian release. A Room with a View, quite a rare one. A Scanner Darkly, again with the green sticker on, so I know that one works. Uh, a Stained Glass Christmas with Heavenly Carols. A View from Space with uh, Heavenly Music. I haven't watched that. The Christmas one I have. Uh, Abba the Movie. Accepted. The Adventures of Robin Hood. Aeon Flux. Um, this isn't the original cover, um, although the original cover is in here underneath that cover. Um, this is just one that I found. There was a website, I don't even know if it's still up or not, uh, years and years ago had a bunch of alternate covers 
um, for HD DVDs as well as a load of covers for stuff that was never released on HD DVD including the original Star Wars trilogy which I have printed out and in cases but obviously no discs for uh, Alexander Revisited, The Final Cut Alice Cooper, uh, Live at Montreux a Recent Pickup, All the Goals Alone in the Dark I have the US Combo Edition of Alpha Dog um, This is such an underrated movie in my opinion I absolutely love this movie um, Based on a true story And it's I don't want to say without giving stuff away But uh, yeah, it, it's definitely a must watch uh, Then I have the German I believe it's German, could be Dutch, but I think it's German release. Um, this has been the non-combo edition. Uh, yeah, once again, awesome film. The Amateurs, I enjoyed this. This was, uh, this was a good film. Uh, American Gangster, UK release. And the American combo release with the slip cover. And it does have, I believe, the extended version, but only... On the DVD side, which is a bit of a bummer. American Me, uh, an American Werewolf in London, the UK release, and an American Werewolf in London, the US combo release. Anchorman. The Ant Bully, uh, Apollo 13, this is a UK release, uh, I also have the US release, and Australian release. Uh, Apples and Oranges, um, this is another German one I think. Um, basically a snowboarding uh, stroke skiing documentary movie thing I think I watched it once I seem to remember it not being very long yeah 32 minutes uh, Appleseed Ex Machina uh, some anime uh, The Architect Arctic Tale Arizona Dream Army of Darkness and Army of Darkness the combo edition so we've got the, the standard HD DVD and then this one is the, the double sided HD DVD Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Again, a combo disc. And then I have the German, uh, just a HD DVD disc. Uh, Salt and Precinct 13. Asterix and the Vikings. ATL Atonement UK release and the US combo release uh, The Aviator Babel UK release US and Australian Backdraft Bali, uh, this is a German one with a whole bunch of stuff there in German, the thousands, I don't know, something about an island. Um, this is quite interesting, I like that. Uh, Balls of Fury, uh, again, some very recent 
pickups. We've got Panda Brothers, volumes one, two, three, and five, uh, but not four. And I have now put those into standard Amory cases, and actually, I think they sit better in them. In those slightly slimmer cases, the the spine didn't quite work, um, and although there is one missing, you can read the uh, the Band of Brothers just slightly better on these fatter cases. Uh, next up, Basic Instinct, Batman Begins, UK release, and American release. Bulge, US release, then we've got a UK one for that, but there is an Australian one. I need to test one of them actually because I quite fancy watching that, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Where are we next? Uh, Battlestar Galactica, this been the, uh, the UK oh, other side. UK digipack. Is it seven discs? Yeah, seven disc set. Great series. Then we've got the, the US set, which I like the packaging on this, apart from the fact it's so damn flimsy. I think I got this at a charity shop if I remember rightly. Um but it's all crushed. With a very thin, flimsy plastic, but I just like the design of that, even if it is poorly executed. Um and if you've seen this show, you'll know why they've done that. Um, but yeah, that's the US release. Uh, and the Australian release, um, they've gone with Amory's. Which again, I quite like the idea of that. Um, but for some reason, um, did I miscount those discs? I think I did. I think maybe it's the hero set that's seven. One, two, three. Yeah. So there is only six. There you go. Problem solved, because this clearly states on there, um, this 1 to 3 and this 4 to 6. So there's going to be three discs in each one of these. Yeah. And then what we've got, Becoming Jane, uh, this one being a UK exclusive. On HD DVD, that is. Uh, Beer Fest, great uh, Broken Lizard movie. Um, I do like their films. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, Being John Malkovich, Beowulf, the director's cut. This one being the UK release, but it's a Warner Brothers. Um, and I've not tested that one, but the US release is a Paramount. Um, so that one should be okay. Uh, this one quite a rare one from HD Net. Um, the best of Get Out Volume One. There is also Volume Two, which when I bought this off eBay, oh gosh, years and years ago, uh, the same seller had Volume Two, and I bid on and got outbid at the very last moment. So I won this one, but never got the second one, and I've never seen it since. I actually, no, that's not. That, technically true I have seen it since um, but I think it was something stupid like £49 and I was never ever going to pay something like that for it uh, the only uh, best of HD DVD box set that I own out of the is there eight five I think there's eight box sets but anyway this is the only one that I own and um, this is the action set which has Troy White uh, Alexander and Blood Diamond um, I do know for sure the Blood Diamond in here doesn't work because I tried it but one of my other copies and I want to say it's the UK one uh, does work um, The Big Lebowski uh, the UK release and the Big Lebowski US release I do prefer that artwork actually well that's, that's okay um, but I prefer that one uh, Bikini Destination, um, Triple Fantasy, Unrated Edition, 
and then the H the two two of the three HD net releases, uh, Bikini Destinations Mexico and Hawaii. There is a third one which I can't remember off the top of my head where it is. It might be Bali, but I'm not sure. Um, but I've never I've never even seen a picture of that one, let alone been able to get a hold of it. Uh, Billy Madison Black Christmas this is the uh, German uh, theatrical release and Black Christmas the US unrated version uh, Black Rain the UK release and US Black Snake Moan, uh, the US release. No UK one for that, but there is an Australian. Um, UK release of Blade Runner. Um, two disc. Uh, I don't think, in fact, I'm pretty sure this, this edition was never released in the US, but um, uh, I think there's very probably, well, there's definitely a, a, a European edition because you've got the European. Uh, ratings on there um, but I don't know if there's an Australian one I don't think I've ever seen an Australian one uh, but we do have the, the US 5 disc um, I have put a green sticker on this although I do know um, yep, we've lost one uh, disc 5 the um, whichever cut that was which cut it is anyway I, I do remember disc five failing but the other three copies or four copies however many copies there are um do work uh, blades of glory blazing saddles the u.s release this is <laughs> such a great funny movie i love that one uh bleak house Blood Diamond, uh, the UK release, uh, the US release, and Australian. Uh, Blue Planet, uh, an IMAX movie. Um, I don't think I've watched this one yet. And we've got the Bob Hope double bill of my favorite brunette and son of pale face and also uh, road to rio and road to bali the bone collector this is an awesome film i really do like that one uh, the as far as i know the only digi book that was ever released on hd dvd uh, bonnie and clyde um, and there is an equivalent Blu-ray, which I think came out at more or less the same time, exactly the same packaging, um, just HD DVD uh, swapped out for Blu-ray, and also with the blue band rather than the red band at the top. But other than that, I think it's identical, and the disc obviously is going to be different. Uh, Born on the Fourth of July, Born Identity, UK, Born Supremacy. And Born Ultimatum, and then the US of the same three, Born Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum. But Ultimatum was only released as a combo uh, disc, again, as far as I'm aware, in the US. I'm fairly sure about that. Uh, Again, another underrated movie, a lot of fun, The Brave One. I say a lot of fun. It's, <laughs> it's not a fun movie, but it's it's a good movie. Um, the US Combo, of The Brave One. Uh, Breach. The Breakup. Great 80s classic, The Breakfast Club. Um, this been one of the uh, foreign releases with... The foreign title. This is uh, the the, U, the UK the, the the English language title for this is Bridge to Terabithia. So that's why I've popped it in the bees. 
Um, I like this movie, it's okay. Well, it's a long time since I've seen it, but I, I seem to remember enjoying it. Uh, bulletproof. Bullet, great Steve McQueen movie. Caddyshack, a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> um, Camp Cuddly Pines Power Tool Massacre. It's been a, a four disc set. Uh, Carlito's Way. Oh, I've missed some. Uh, Brokeback Mountain. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Um, there was a massive error with this film. Um, they forgot to put the English language track on the disc. Even though it does say, I don't know if it's if, if you can read it on there, um, but it does say that it's got an English language track, English dub. Um, they never put it on the disc, so there's only the original. I think it's French um, on this disc, which is a shame. Um, the Blu-ray, I say the Blu-ray has the track on the Blu-ray like this one states that the English language track is on it um, I don't own it and I never tested it but I'm assuming it's on the Blu-ray um, Brothers Grimm great film uh, Bruce Almighty again a lot of fun this one's a really weird one um, Bug with uh, Ashley Judd and Michael Shannon um, yeah really really weird um, Bugs 3D I think it's a German release. Again, it's one that never got released anywhere else. Um, it's in this digi set with some 3D glasses. Uh, there we go. Right, back on track again. Uh, Carly does way rise to power. Casablanca. Casino is the UK one, that's the only one I've got. Uh, Cat People, great film, I do enjoy this one. Uh, one that uh, I bought but probably will never watch, but uh, it's another one that I wanted to add to the collection. Cecilia and Bryn uh, at uh, Glendbourne uh, Arias and Duets. Okay, Channels. Uh, UK release of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, as well as the US release. Uh, different artworks on those. Children of Men, the UK and the US, with very different font on the, the titles there. I don't know why they've done that. Uh, and the Australian. Kronos. The Chronicles of Riddick, Director's Cut, UK, and the Unrated Director's Cut in the US. And they're exactly the same as far as I'm aware. Different, uh, different titles for the cuts. Uh, Cinderella Man. Clerks 2, great film, enjoy that one a lot. And this one, Coming to America. UK release of the complete Matrix trilogy as well as the US huh I've missed something out here we go um, Constantine we'll do it at the end uh, the contract Corpse Bride the UK release I believe we've been going for almost 30 minutes now. Um, Corpse Bride, the US release. The Cowboys, the UK release. And John Wayne and the Australian. Uh, a movie not yet released on Blu-ray in the UK. Um, I think there is, no, I don't think there is a US version. Um, but it's usually quite expensive. Uh, but we've got Crank, um, this being the extended version. Um, does it have the original version on as well? I'm not sure. But I like to watch it every once in a while. It's, it's just uh, brain dead fun. 
popcorn movie, people would say. Um, Cream, the Royal Albert Hall, and Curse Eternal. Um, but I do have an alternate custom cover, which I've got the disc in that one as well, um, just to have it in an HD DVD case. Uh, and then finally, the one that I missed is another copy of Blade Runner. This is the briefcase. Um, this was a bargain. I bought this years and years ago off Play.com and I kind of wished at the time I bought more. Um, but I didn't because I was cautious, too cautious maybe. Um, the seller that was selling these had a bunch and by a bunch I mean 50 or 60 of them uh, and he was asking £7.60, £7.65, something like that uh, shipped from the States and I just thought it's too good to be true um, I was expecting to get the, the five disc um, the American five disc box even though it was pictured as this I thought they've, they've, you know, they've advertised it wrong They've, they've used the wrong um, version for sale, even though it was this version that they were they were selling. It's not like eBay where you can just uh, list your item. You you pick you pick the specific. It's like on Amazon, you pick the specific item that you're selling. But even people on Amazon get it wrong. So I wasn't expecting to get this. So I ordered just the one. And it came quite quickly actually, it was only about five or six days and I was shocked when it arrived, I was so happy uh, for £7 odd, it was brand new sealed, obviously it's not anymore, I've, I've opened it. Um, but by the time by the time I got it, it completely sold out, the dog gone, so never mind, but yeah I was really happy to got that in the collection for so cheap. Um, but anyway, that's this part all done. Uh, and not before time because my battery on my phone is almost dead. Um, I've just had a, a warning on the screen that says it's 10% left. Um, so I'm not going to water on for too long um, other than to say yeah, thanks once again for watching. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working through all this stuff that's going on. And I'm on afternoons this week, so I don't start till two. So hopefully tomorrow morning I can uh, get this all cleared away and get the next bunch from upstairs down here and film part two. And that might continue for the rest of the week. Um, like I said, like I said at the beginning, there's six parts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this up the day that I'm recording it. Um, but although I don't see why not, if I can, if I've got time, I, it's uh, it's eleven o'clock almost. Um, so by the time I've uploaded this and done a uh, a thumbnail, and I've still got to make lunch, and I've got to make some sandwiches for later on, and still be out the door by uh, just after one o'clock. So that might be pushing it a little. Anyway. Uh, as long as I can get it uploaded, I can maybe just do the rest during my break. I can uh, sort out a, um, a thumbnail. Anyway, I'm, I'm wittering on. You don't need to. You don't need to know all that rubbish. Um, all you know is by the time you're watching this, it's up. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be up when it's up. Um, anyway, yeah. Like I say, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.